I had nuns from Ireland that were on the stage with Sinead O'Connor. The Evening Standard ran it with a, a big article saying sex nuns and rock and roll at Lindsay. Ah. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Afternoon. Yeah. Afternoon. Afternoon. What a lovely day. I know it is. The sun's back. Thank God. It is lovely. But before we go any further, please like and subscribe to us on YouTube. And like and follow us on Facebook. And please follow us on Twitter and don't forget to tweet. And of course, as you know, please, please <laughs> follow us on Instagram because one loves an Instagram. I've always liked Instagram. Stop, actually, stop, but it's stop, more now please than stop her. Stop. But please, can I just remind you of my truly wonderful competition? Debbie. Wake, Wake up, up, Debbie. Competition. <laughs> Did you finish? Hurry up. Oh, just having a little nap then. Just a power nap. Not right. surprising. <laughs> I was dreaming, actually, of the Gibbon Bridge Hotel, which is where our competition is. We can get a lovely midweek break there. Now that the lock lockdown is allowing us to go to hotels, you can go to the Gibbon Bridge for yes. two nights and get lots of food and drink. Ooh. And there is nothing to stop us, of course, and never has been, going to Wines With Stories for the hydration that is necessary to see us through every day not just in this pandemic the most wonderful wines with stories with every bottle and also looking into the future and you can see that i have the fortune tellers turban on with the earrings yes, yes. <laughs> the wonderful the wonderful sharon burbridge who is the most amazing psychic to the stars tell your fortune tell you what you're going to do and who you're going to meet in the future Isn't that have you cool? finished Dee? Have you finished? <laughs> really I'd never thought I'd say it, but please come I'm in, Sherry. Just into it then. <laughs> Harley Street Skin Clinic. You get two hundred pounds worth of products and a red carpet facial. How about that? And you can find us on no, no, our new. No, what? No, what? You no. You interrupted me. Look, this is me now. I will carry on. No now change. you will be able to enter the competition on Facebook, but of course on our new website, amazingwonderbirds.com. Now please, somebody stop her. And oh, before we go any further, can I just tell you a little story? <laughs> Wake so up, this, so this morning, I, put, I lost my beautiful lipstick, which I love, right? This is it, and I love it. Anyway, I just opened my, unfortunately, my washing machine door, took my black clothes out, which appeared to have a strange red blob on each garment. And there, in the bottom of the washing machine, was my lipstick with the top <laughs> off. <laughs> so now I have not only a squish lipstick, but black with everything. I mean, lip, uh, Sherry, I, darling. Listen, <laughs> Sherry, you are yes. crafting, darling. You are doing a new form of tie dye. It's yeah. lip tie dye. <laughs> and I just can't cope. I can't cope with anything. I can't cope with anything because I'm moving. <sighs> yes, I know, well, darling. You poor thing. But anyway. <laughs> Should we talk about it anyway? Regardless, <laughs> amazing, amazing guest we've got today is the incredible Lynn Franks. Who's Yay! An advocate, yes, she's an advocate for women. And she's got an OBE and does amazing work, and she's going to here to tell us all about it. Lynn, it's lovely to see I'm you. I'm in, Lynn. I'm in, Lynn. Welcome to the nest, Lynn. Lynn. Hi, darling. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the nest, Hi, Lynn. Lynn. Hello, it's darling. lovely. Lovely to see you, Lynn. Lynn, Thank last you. time I saw you was at your amazing retreat in Somerset, where I have to tell you that you turned my life around because I was actually at quite a low ebb at the time and I, I was doing all sorts of things. And you actually took me in hand and said, this is what you need to do. I don't feel that you're really into that thing that you're doing. And you were amazing. Oh, so, I mean, it's, it's so great to see you here in the nest with us wonder birds thank you and tell us tell us about the retreat how's it going how's it been going in the in the pandemic 
Well, it's been really, I know it's a, not necessarily the correct thing to say, but it's been a very exciting, positive time for me. I mean, I haven't felt locked in. In my little town where I live in Wincanton in Somerset, our local shops, food shops have been open. There's been a real sense of community and neighborhood and everybody's helping each other and lots of fantastic new ideas are coming up as a community. But it, meanwhile, I've been really busy. Uh, the retreats have gone online, which have been very successful and I'm going to be doing a lot more and thank you for saying what you said Dee and I, and I remember your vision poster um, we talked yes. about the today with wonder but the two words were on it weren't that's it? right it, oh, it yeah. actually it, I, I did a vision board with Lynn and I looked at it the other day and it's actually to sort of say to, to visualize your future what you want to do and of course we didn't know about wonder birds then but it had two words wonder and birds, the other side. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll show you a picture. No, of that. I believe yeah. there's oh, so yeah. much stuff we know it's inside cool. us intuitively, and sometimes it takes literally putting it down on a big card, cutting out pictures from a magazine, and we yes. can make it real. And that's uh, right. Like chanting, have you? <laughs> Don't even start me on the chanting. I mean, I've known you since the eighties, and you taught me to chant. Um, I won't mention what I chanted for, but. Um, yeah, <laughs> right. well, I, I still chant, and I have to say it keeps me very grounded. I chant. I stop for a while, and then yeah. I started again. And I started about four or five years ago, and I woke up one day and found myself living in Somerset, having bought these two old, beautiful buildings, 500, 600 year old buildings, which I converted Ooh. one into a retreat center and a, a cafe, which is where Dee stayed and had a lovely time, and I had a lovely time with you. And then I opened next door. I lived next door, and I opened a little. A little shop. I had no intention of doing any of that whatsoever. I've been. What do you have in your shop? The, I'm so glad you asked. I, I quickly <laughs> must go get some stuff from the shops. Uh, <laughs> the most yummy, gorgeous, possible things that any one of us would want. Lots of natural beauty products. So I've got um, these. I don't know if you've seen these crystal natural storers by my friend Katie Brindle called Hey You. She's on Instagram all the time and they've become enormously successful. So we sell those. Oh, we sell lots great. of oil, everything to do with oils and skin and wow. ourselves and well-being. Um, all made by women entrepreneurs. So we're really into supporting women entrepreneurs. And then we've just launched, I also happen to have in oh, my kitchen, on my table glasses on. <laughs> fantastic things, um, which have been created by my colleague Tamsin Gregory, who's a textile design and we've started craft kit so we wow oh. last week so it's um, a great way to launch them here on wonderbirds and are um, you doing are you doing crafting now and things i well i would if i had the time i haven't actually had the time <laughs> telling crafting a lot of people are so i mean tams has been trying to get me to crochet to sort of use it as a kind of meditation i'm, I'm trying yeah. to say that but we are selling these really well even in a few days and so we they're all eco so it's all vintage fabrics and old buttons and trimmings and all instructions wow. make, make wonderful things very easily at home and um we've got like sort of wool and yarn made from seaweed and recycled plastic and and uh, bamboo needles and anyway it's it's gone off with a huge bang and we have lovely colorful clothes and Ooh, uh, fabulous. what we do which we've realized because we went online that was another thing we had the time to do in this in this lot yeah. so we have a shop if i may just say can i give the address it's yeah. uh, yes <laughs> s-e-e-d hyphen store.org and we do visual tours so a lot of our ah, of course, great come, idea. Come, so you would all be very welcome i was going to uh, say i thought we should come down for a road trip oh, God, to go Oh, to, see, to see yeah. everything. And the retreat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. to come perfect. to the retreat. Four bedrooms. So there's one for each. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> and Great. Uh, they are so, as Dee knows, they are so kind of... Um, beautiful. Yeah, well, they're beautiful. And they also, they're kind of healing in their own way. So the beds Very. are all made of eco and alpaca duvets and everything's organic. And you get completely nurtured in the bedrooms. I mean, people don't like getting up oh, in there. We all need that. Now. We're in. Yeah. We're in. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting the massage. Car. We get massage <laughs> if we don't have by then. And all the natural, healthy food that we serve. So, yeah. Oh, fantastic well. to have a Wonder Birds weekend. Fabulous. Thank you, wow. Lynn. Sounds yeah. wonderful. Lynn, can I can I just say I was watching uh, something where you were speaking in 2012. Oh yes. And I was listening to you, and then I was watching something where you were speaking, and that was only a year ago. Now I wondered if you thought that the world had changed so much from 
2012 to now, especially with women of a certain age and how we're advancing or hasn't it? You know, it, when I was listening to you, I thought in 2012, it was so hopeful. And I thought, how fantastic. But I don't know if we've gone backwards or, um, and, and helping, you were talking about that we should nurture younger women. We should be the mentors for younger women. For, you know, we've had our time and it's what- Oh no, coming. I never said we had our time. No, no, I, no I, I don't mean that. You, you, you put it in a way when you said, um, we've done what we've done, but it's, well, the, it's, it's the little ones that, you know, <clears throat> that should have the education now. Yes, well, I would never say we've had our time because at my age, and I'm a lot older than any of you, I'm still opening new businesses every other week. So I believe that what we have is experience and wisdom, and that's our gifts to hold out to young people. But that doesn't mean to say that it's time for us to stop either, as you no, know. No, not at all. No. So um, <laughs> <laughs> I think that in, I made that, uh, I called it the return of the wise women. I know what you're referring to in 2020. Yeah. And it was all about how it was a time of women of, say, 60 plus, 65 plus, post-menopause, really, who, who are now ready to move into our wise women phase where we're still living our life purpose, whatever that may be, or looking for it and finding it, and at the same time helping the generations to come up. Not only do I think it, uh, that, um, I don't think, in fact, that uh, we've gone backwards, because what I think is, I was a bit early, and now uh -huh. if there was ever a time that we needed to be the wise women, to really support other women of all ages, and men, and children on the planet, and use the experience and wisdom we've got from all our various adventures of life, to really hold the space for for everybody else and and women you know my work's been with women's empowerment for many years and yeah. I've books and you know we do as we said workshops and retreats and i believe that we've really got a time now where we have to create this new future i mean we who would think i certainly didn't 12 years ago that we'd be in the situation we are now yeah. and we have the opportunity now to create this new future and it's us women as leaders, I really believe that, as leaders in our community, as leaders on media, as leaders in every area that can really hold the space for everyone else and be positive. But it's so mm -hmm. easy to go down the rabbit hole. If you watch the news every night and you read the papers, oh, and all the stuff, yes. and it's all so negative. But actually, I feel, apart from incredible sympathy and love to anybody who's suffered from this horrible pandemic in any way, at the same time, we've got this opportunity to create a new future. And that means yes. the way we consume, not to say we don't still get lovely things we love, like from mm -hmm. my shop, but we don't, we, <laughs> we don't have to go out and get the 500 pound handbag at least. Lynn, I just wanted to ask you, darling, who were the women who inspired you? Because you have always wanted to inspire women. Where did that come from? Is it just innate in you? How did you find it? And what women inspired you? Great question. Well, honestly, my mom, my grandma, I come from uh, my, uh, uh, quite a few generations that I've managed to trace back of strong women who sadly were married to men who weren't very well physically or mentally or different ways. Mm. They had to take responsibility for their families. And I see it in my own daughter and my own grandparents mm. now. I mean, it's this amazing it's kind of, it's yeah. in our DNA. I'd love to say there were lots of women. I have lots of women who I have loved and adored on the way. Sadly, a lot of them passed, you know, people like Anita Roddick um, and my friend Sue Lloyd Roberts, who was an incredible journalist, BBC journalist who, who made so many people aware of some of the human rights tragedies in the world. There have been some incredible women um, that I have got inspired by. But, but it's your sense, it's your sense also of just wanting to help women. There's yes. a bigger vision for you, from yes. you. Where yes. does that come from? It's just, it's not just who's inspired you to work. And as you say, you keep on keeping on, nothing's going to stop you. It's what is it that makes you care so much and help women for the future? You know, I was in such a kind of different world. And then suddenly I woke up, I sold my business, I woke up and I got, uh, I was asked to chair a women's radio station. Then I went to China for a huge UN conference for women, which mm -hmm. was the biggest that ever been in the world then and now. Women all over the world from the grassroots coming together and saying what was happening in their hearts. And actually even before that, I put on, I took over the South Bank and I put on an event called What Women Want. And it was the first big gathering for women uh, that yeah. had UK since the suffragettes just about. So that was in, um, I'm oh. very good at remembering the years, I think it was 95. So I took over the whole South Bank and um, well, they, led, they gave it to me, <laughs> they lent it to me. <laughs> 
and um, we had workshops and concerts and conversations and you know, massages and we had a room, we had a wonderful room uh, where my friends who were specialists in um, sexuality and what, um, what women want in that way and so there was a lot of conversations going on there that haven't happened before. I had nuns from Ireland that were on the stage with Sinead O'Connor. Um, oh, wow. Prayers for the future. <laughs> And six months in rock and roll. I'm just trying to remember what I, we had so many things going on. But the Evening Standard ran it with a, a big article saying "Sex Nuns and Rock and Roll at Lindsay." <laughs> oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Do you know what? Lynn, That's a it's brilliant funny. headline. Yeah, that is brilliant because I remember my mum telling me about that, and you knew her very well, didn't you? I did, I did, I did. I, I knew her through mutual friends and was at a number of parties where she yeah. went into Lady Penelope. <laughs> oh, exactly. Oh, oh. I, wanted to talk to you, I wanted to talk to you about Dea. Oh, God, right, oh, yes. right. Oh, just, to me, the most beautiful place in the world. And I remember when your house came on the market and me thinking, oh, I wish I could afford to buy it. It's, it's, I don't know, have you girls ever been there in, in Mallorca today? Not, to, not today, I know. No. How did you no. find, how did you find that? How did you find it yourself there and your house then? Well, that was another kind of just got in the car and drove a bit like I ended up in Wing Canton. So I, I lived <laughs> in Mallorca on holiday and I went one year and stayed with friends on the other side of the island. And Catherine Hamnett, who was my first PR client and great friend, had a place not in Dea, but not far. So we went to visit her for the day and I was driving back with her along the coast and we drove through and I went oh my god this is the most beautiful place I've ever been and I just sold my business I had a little bit of money and it was just before it exploded so I was able to buy a little house there and then the house next door and I had that for 25 years and it was where my kids grew up it's where I I did get divorced just before I bought it so it was really where I went into my puberty alongside my kids going into theirs after oh, <laughs> oh brilliant and, um, it was it there has always been or traditionally been a, a beautiful village where artists and writers have been attracted to come very creative bohemian i mean in the 60s and 70s which sadly i missed it was uh, quite outrageous but it is so beautiful that inevitably it got discovered so now um and it got to the point where i loved what my home's there but it was it was time to come back and it and yeah. it was changing the village has changed and it yeah. is now friends, yes. a rich man's hideout <laughs> yeah it's gentrified yeah. And it's beautiful, and I still love it, and I've still got very good friends there. Yeah, but it was just time to to come back to move on. I love it just, it's music. funny that you said that that you know it was the home of artists and you know musicians because it when the minute I arrived there, I didn't know where I was, literally driving, and I went, Oh my god, this is the most beautiful place I've ever ever seen! It's it just yeah. magical. It is, and all my friends in Daya keep posting pictures every day of how clean oh. the sea is and the blue sky, and I'm sitting there going. Okay, that's fine. Wing Canton's fine. It's okay. Just breathe. <laughs> yeah. And oh, for our viewers, for our viewers who don't know where Dea is, it's where they shot the night manager, actually, didn't they? Oh, right. Um, they did shoot one of the things there in the restaurant. That's right. And it was also used as a background for a German soap. And um, so consequently, it has been totally overrun by the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A bit like uh, guess Benedorm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lynn, Lynn, you you always seem to have an instinct for what's happening in the future, and you're just one step ahead. So, what's next for you? Well, next for me is I think, like all of us, we're going to be online clearly a lot more. Yeah. yeah. Um, for me, it's about doing uh, my retreats online and making uh, available online all the work that I've been doing for 20 odd years now, which gives women yeah. the toolkits. Um, I, I, I've created something called the power of seven, which is in all of us, but it's also in a groups of seven using archetypes like storyteller and a medicine woman and seed sower. I do little right. films about them on social media every day. Fabulous, all wonderful. Aspects which we can use to really create the life we want to live, whatever that Wonderful. may be. But to Wonderful. help others at the same time, which is as we start oh, saying. You know, that's, that's brilliant. Kind of horror, isn't it? I mean, whatever yeah. it is, even whether it's to make others laugh, just to make people feel positive, make people feel hope. And yeah. that's you know, young. That old. is wonderful, Lynn. Well, Lynn, can we say that we'll see you very soon oh, at your please. retreat uh, to do a Wonder Bird <laughs> special? I want yes. to come, yes. That'd be great. Please. Definitely. It, it's been I'm so... Me. You are so Thank welcome. You. you are so Thank welcome. Thank you. Oh, fantastic. We all love you. And it's so lovely to have you on the show, Lynn. 
So thank we'll you. see you. We'll see you soon then. Thank, thank you, Liz. Thank, thank you, Liz. Thank you, darling. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 How wonderful! What a brilliant inspiration. Oh, I that to go that retreat. I feel inspired. Amazing. Do you feel inspired? Yeah, absolutely. I think she's amazing. Honestly, yeah. I, I swear to you, she really. I had a business plan for something, and she and I spent a lot of money on it. And she went, "Rubbish! It's nothing. You don't. You don't feel. You're not feeling it there." She said, "Don't do it." And I went, "Bloody hell! You're right." And I knew she was right. And she said, oh, no, "No, you've got to go with your passion." She said, I, I don't care if you don't, you know, she said, it's not about making the money, it's about what's here. And that's really important. Keeping on our positivity, we hmm. have, on Wednesday, we have a menopause special show. And I really, honestly, people always say to me, menopause, there's menopause, and I go, Ugh. but this is very important. This is with Dr. Tracy Mountford, our lovely doctor, and it's yes. with Dr. Anne Henderson, who is a menopause specialist. And it's yes. going to be very interesting for all six of us, because we're all, menopausal ladies or past or future or whatever but experience about isn't menopause. it so we're, we're all men we're what ladies nothing it's when you read 40 40 oh okay i'm only 35 oh, thank yes. you thank you <laughs> yes so it's about so it's a menopause special on wednesday which is going to be very exciting also it's what to watch wednesday so get looking at the television everybody Oh yes, and send us your send us your what you want us to watch or stuff yes. like that. Put it yes, on website or what or you're watching it. now. Yeah, because yeah. we like and that includes Benny of course. Don't, of don't, course, you can always you can all say Benny. We're yeah, all don't watching Benny. Oh dear God! <laughs> ben I think it's great. I love. Oh, I've got to say, I'm sorry. I can't we'll all watch Benny. <laughs> yes, it is fun. Benny Dorm. It really is. Anyway, so we'll see you then. This is that. This is a Sherry Houston commercial. Starring Sherry Houston, well, Benidorm, Benidorm. Benidorm. produced by Sherry Houston, directed Benidorm. by Sherry Houston, and Please make it Sherry stop. Houston. She's paying Just me now. Goodbye. Benidorm. Just say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.